Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. I kinda am. If you haven't guessed what we're doing by the title, um, yeah, we're coloring my hair and we're talking about life and stuff. Um, I've been needing to color my hair. It's I've been trying to fade it. Um, I colored it like black last, but it's faded finally. It looks nasty. I've just putting been putting off the inevitable of having to color my ends, but uh, that's what we're doing today. So if you like that kind of thing, keep watching. And if not, I don't want to tell you. Go fly a kite. So this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of rootage, as you can see, but um, we're not focusing on the roots. Um, I told myself I wouldn't like bleach my hair or really color the top part unless I lost my goal weight, which I really haven't been working on at all, but that's about to change too. But anyway, um, I just need to keep up with the end, if anything. Probably need a haircut too. I've been just trimming it myself, but I need like a cut cut. Um, yeah, literally don't know I was going with those sentences, but yeah, we're just gonna refresh my ends. And I felt like doing pink, because pink is like one of my favorite colors. It brings me joy. And supposedly, like, pink colors are calming and soothing and good for you. So, yeah, that's what I need right now. So, yeah, I'm just going to section my hair. It's all quadrants. Oh, hair. Might need one more. You'd think, being a former hairstylist, I'd have clips everywhere. I don't. I lose them and step on them, like, all the time. All right, so I got my color mixture mixed up. We've got blush, some candy, a little dar a little dab of noir, and some Olaplex. The noir is just to kind of like deepen it, and I think I put too much, so that's why I also put Olaplex to kind of dilute it. But yeah, this is our concoction for the day. Um, and I put the noir in because it is a like blue. Ooh, see ya. That's a lot. Ooh, it's turning purple. Ooh. I put too much. I might have a different hair color on her hands today. Oh, but it's so pretty. Hmm. Maybe I should just keep up with it. I mean, my ends are kind of purple. Maybe. Yeah, it. I definitely put too much black in. Well, I guess I'm not having pink hair. But that's fine. You know what? We'll just see what happens. I am going to put a little bit more of the candy. It is a UV glow light color and also after I'm done applying this I'm just gonna let it sit in my hair all day like I'm planning on streaming after this and playing games with friends and don't really want to take a shower after putting a full face of makeup and then you know putting color in my hair it, uh, it's like a pinky purple I'm not even mad honestly okay. I should have a towel around my neck and a cape I am, once again, too lazy to do all that, so, yeah, we're just gonna do this. So, yeah, I wanted to color my hair and talk to y'all about life and junk, so let's talk. So, in my real life, um, some exciting stuff is going down. Um, my husband and I recently got approved to get a house, or we were approved for a home loan. I'm ho sorry, I'm hoping like there's some green in my hair that it'll get neutralized by the candy and blush I put in. It's also why I put in a lot of candy because I want that red to like tone out the green. Mm -hmm. That's better. All right. Also make sure you're wearing a wearing a shirt you don't care about. And then color your hair. See that seems like it's neutralizing it a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not worried about it because even when my hair looks bad, people are like, oh my God, it looks so good. I'm over here like, oh my God, it looks terrible, but thank you. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Yeah, so Randy and I 
I've been pre-approved for a home loan. How fucking exciting is that? Um, so right now he's actually like kind of working on an email because we found a realtor. We kind of want to like interview, I guess, or see how good they are. And that's like the next step, I guess. So that's what we're doing, what he's doing. I've done most of the hard work. No, it was, it was hard on both of us, but it was actually my cousin who helped us get out the loan. Shout out to Clay Money. Clay Man. Yeah, my cousin is amazing and he really helped us. And thank you, I love you if you're watching. Which you should cause support me. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't want anybody to watch my videos that don't genuinely want to or don't enjoy them. But anyway, so yes, getting back on subject, we're getting a house soon. And so we're trying to get our stuff together and do other things. Um, we're actually having sales right now. Hopefully this video will be posted like sometime Thanksgiving week. Um, but we're having a sale till the end of November on our Etsy site, plug here. So go check that out. I've got a lot of like resin items and he has all these beautiful wire wrap pieces for $25. And then all my, most of my stuff is basically half off. So go check it out. Cause we need all the money for like closing costs and shit like that. Oh, and if we need to make repairs on something. But yeah, we're really, it, it seems almost surreal too at the same time. Cause like I really, We've been trying to do this for a while, actually. You know, there's all kinds of hoops and stuff you have to go through. Uh, I didn't realize. Um, shout out to the, you know, American school system for teaching me how taxes work and credit scores. Making sure all I knew that stuff so when I was an adult, I was ready. Yeah, right. I am. Um, I... I don't know what to say about but I just that's a little bit right there but anyway so yeah excited about that <laughs> and because of that that so Randy and I talked a long time ago and we like decided that we wouldn't have kids unless you know we had a house because like the apartment we are currently living in well it is a very large apartment and I am so grateful to live here and the amount of space we get for what we're paying, I am grateful. However, we all grew this apartment so long ago. Um, we have a two bed, two bath, and the second bedroom has basically become our hoard room. Like, we just, it used to be like Randy's like game room kind of, and like, cause he had a big nerd collection. Um, I'll do a video about that when we're moved in and it looks nice again, but you know, it's a lot of stuff. And then he had his desk and his computer in there before we like I ever got mine you know and so and then he stopped hanging out in there we both did and basically we just started throwing everything in there and now it's a mess and it's gross and I hate it like I do my residence there stuff too but it it's very hoardy and it gives you those hoardy feelings of like depression and stuff like this is supposed to be my happy work space you know and like I feel claustrophobic honestly but it's another reason why I'm excited to move. Like we'll actually have space for all our stuff. Um, but yeah, excited about like being able to get out of here basically and just like, you know, start a life. And not even just like, we're gonna stray and have kids right away probably. Like I wanna give it a, I wanna enjoy, you know, living in my house for a little bit before we do that. But it's exciting to know that we can be a little risky, I guess, and just, like, not care about birth control. Uh, and just, I don't know, enjoy each other for a little bit. And we're going to be selfish, honestly. Like, I said, I want I want to enjoy the house before we have kids. But just knowing we have, I think I'm repeating myself. I'm excited to know that, you know, if I got pregnant tomorrow, it would be fine. You know, we'd be okay. Oh, made it to the back. Hells yeah. Looking good. It's gonna be a pretty, like, amethyst color, I think. I don't know. We shall see. 
And I know I should be taking cleaner sections, but I really don't care. Oh, I was like, where did it go? That was weird. Anyway, so we got all that going on. Um, I still don't have a job, although I have, I have seriously been looking since the start of the, well, no, that's not true, since like April, after the pandemic, kind of like, not calmed down, but we were like more aware of the situation. I have been seriously looking for a job, just trying to do anything, and I'm, once again, like burnt out, um, but I do have a plan. For the rest of November, I'm just gonna stop looking for a job temporarily and i'm just gonna focus on making like stupid youtube videos and streaming and stuff just because it's fun and who knows i could go viral you never know how those things work but either way it's a goal i want to accomplish this month just to put out a video every day for the re like starting from the monday of thanksgiving week does that make sense like i was trying before to do that but i missed a couple days but like from this sun it's sunday the whatever and so from this day on until like the end of November, I'm gonna put out a new video and I'm gonna try and stream all week. So, and you're like probably thinking, well, that that's not a lot. There's not much left. I'm like, I know, but still, like, it's hard doing all this stuff. Let me tell you, I feel like people think like YouTubers have the easiest life. Like, oh, let me just film a video and oh, I'm just gonna pop it right on YouTube. No, that is not how it works. You could film like a simple video that took you like. 30 minutes to film right but you still gotta go back you gotta edit you gotta cut out the cringy shit you said um or that just didn't sound right blah 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 um you gotta end music sometimes you gotta know when to like not to edit because sometimes i over edit i feel like um or i click i edit wrong or too short that's what i mean like it just cuts off weird um But um, it's hard doing all that. Then you have to upload it to the YouTubes, you know. And uploading to YouTube takes forever. Like, I, I try to keep most of my videos under a certain length. But, like, lately I've been doing a lot of gaming videos, which I really love. And those are hard because, you know, it's hard to know, like I said, when to edit sometimes and chop things. Because you're like, oh, this whole bit's so funny, and da, da, da. but it keeps going kind of. And you're like, oh, well, like, is it going on too long? Should I cut it here? Well, that part wasn't really that funny. might not make sense, you know? And so it's hard to take, like, a 55-minute video and chop it down into, like, 20 minutes. But I'm figuring things out. And I'm starting to notice patterns and stuff. Like, beauty videos, I feel like, should be under... 15 minutes maybe 20 at the most and a good gaming video if you could like knock in a bunch of stuff in 20 minutes that's awesome but it depends i guess on the game too of like what you're willing to watch for like t past 25 minutes i guess does that make sense anyway i'm just trying to figure things out and i'm really enjoying it though and i don't know it might be fun to be youtube beauty guru Guru, gamer, girl, job. That's like something I haven't done. You know, I've done a little bit of everything. Um, mostly service industry. But, I don't know. I'm not trying to like have a million subscribers. Actually, no. I would just like to get to 100. I am currently at 74. Um, and I just want to get to 100. That That is my goal. And I was going to like keep it a secret. But... If I can get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a $100 giveaway. Because I think somebody could use $100, right? Who couldn't? I probably shouldn't because I'm supposed to be buying a house. But I just... Getting to 100 is hard, believe it or not. You know what? That's a big goal. And I would like to share my joy of getting to 100 by giving someone $100. If that's weird, then I'm weird. But I've already accepted that fact a long time ago. Anyway, yeah. That's my goal. I want to get to 100 subscribers on my YouTube and then 50 on my stream or my Twitch. And I think those are good, easy goals to accomplish. And that would give me serotonin that I so desperately need. I know I talk about that a lot, but it's true. Like, Jenny need happy brain chemicals so desperately. And then after this month, 
Christmas is gonna be here. There's no way I cannot get like some kind of retail job. Like they're gonna need the extra hand. I'm just waiting till after Black Friday because fuck that. I am not working retail on Black Friday. I, if you work retail Black Friday, God bless you and your entire fucking family because you're doing the hardest work that no one else wants to do. God fucking bless you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You have to have some kind of like crazy patience, strength, like to deal with that shit all fucking or holiday season god bless you you are doing god's work for real <laughs> like I, I can't say enough things about people who work service and retail they see the real shit <sighs> anyway retail workers y'all doing the most with the least on the you know minimum wage anyway uh, yeah, my hair's colored. So, that's fun. Um, and that's all I kind of wanted to talk about right now. So that worked out perfectly. Um, like I said, I'm gonna leave this in all day. So you're gonna see me, like, tomorrow, I guess, when I, like, wash my hair out and it's all clean. I'm actually gonna curl it because I have not curled my hair, I think, since the beginning of the pandemic. Like, that's how much of a mood I've been into. Like, I just, I've only had the energy to do some things and not other things. And like, I feel like me doing my hair, it always makes me feel good. So I don't do my hair. You should take that as a sign. It's like, oh, Jenny's, Jenny's really depressed. I'm fine. Fine. I think we're all fine at this point, but yeah. So yeah, I don't know let this process and I'll see you in a second. And here's the final result, guys. I'm, I'm really happy I did this. Like, I seriously haven't colored my hair in like two months, I think, maybe more. And I just really needed this. I love how the curl color turned out. It is a little more purpley than pink, but I really, I don't care. It looks good, honestly. You think it look good? Yeah, just a double white heel, hi -yo. You like my new hair? My snack. Oh, okay, okay. Calm down. Whoop. <laughs> well, I think that is a yes from Debbles. You like my new hair? Yeah. Or do you just want a snack? A snack? Hmm? Yeah. You're so sweet. I love you so much. Okay. Enough floating over dumples. Anyway, yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, leave us a comment, let me know what you think. Um, sorry, I couldn't stop mirroring at myself. Like, honestly, this is, this is what I needed. I think I needed color and just style my hair. I, I can't, seriously cannot remember the last time I curled my hair or did anything other than putting it up, up, up in a bump and a clip. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye! Say bye, Pudding! Say bye! Double says bye. <laughs>